Hey guys, Alexander Gamer here, and it's been a while for me to have recorded a video. It's probably, well, pretty much every day I've been coming out with a video. Pretty odd. But that's because for um, a few days, like three days a while ago, I just wanted to play so much EU4. I recorded like 20 videos. I know I'm way behind. <laughs> well, way ahead. I have two videos left to upload. No, I'll set those to upload, probably. Tomorrow or something. Who? Here's the big, uh, well, here's the big thing. Monday, I'm going away camping. Today is Friday when I'm recording this. Monday, I'm going away camping. So, not so much today, but sun Saturday and Sunday, I'm going to record a ton of content. At least try to. And I'm going to uh, post up slowly. I'm only, I should only be gone for 10 days. About 10 days? Ten, 9 or 10 days? Uh, I'm going to actually end the... Unless I can naval bombard. Okay, I'm just going to end the turn. Um, so this is our last camping trip of the year, obviously, because summer is almost here. Um, so we're going up to Presque Isle, uh, which is pretty nice there. There, the campground. Uh, we stay at the very far side of it. Like, um, how it works is there's the entrance, and you drive off the highway off to the side road, and then take a side road off of that to the camp office, and then from there you pass like the uh, dump station and the. Uh, whatever dump station and the garbage that's the other thing the firewood stores and stuff like that and you get to the first campgrounds and this is when it prongs into three things one heads towards the showers a shower block central shower block with a little bit of a beach and uh... some central areas there and then um you can turn to the seasonal area or you can turn to the other areas. The other one leads you a more indirect route to the other areas into the middle area. And the third road that goes like all the way around the park goes to the very end of the park. And you're twisting and turning your thing around and if you're turning thirty odd feet of trailer behind you it's pretty difficult, but the good thing is there's a bicycle trail from one side of the park to the other because there's no road that goes through there. So you can take the bicycle trail from one side of the park where we stay to the um, other side, to the far side, and you can get to the beach from there and some walking trails, and you just go up a path, and then you're at a store, not like the front office, but a secondary store that you can buy things at. So it's pretty nice. There's a little, um, I don't know, it's a provincial wad day area, like picnic area. Like it's um it's a big circle road with uh, two exits, um and it's just a bunch of areas where you can go and pop down, have some go swimming, have a picnic, a barbecue, there's some uh group areas and things. There's like some picnic tables and uh, uh well, you know, shelters and there's some people who run things there. So yeah, it's fun going there. We usually go there every year, so that's good. Get back. Uh, I already got all my school supplies, so that's good. Just have to go and get my locker, and then I'm done. And I'm ready to go to school. Now that I'm done talking about my <laughs> camping trip, we're going to look at this game. So they just, I'm pretty sure I coerced troops from them, and they just did it back to me, so that sucks. Replicated, got explosive shells. Hey, you two. Oh no, that's just some garrison units. Some artillery from here that I took. Cool, whatever. Uh, technology, we don't need to worry about getting armor piercing shells. We'll get um, copper plating. That seems like a good idea. Yeah, we'll get copper plating. Um, we're at war with these guys. It's cool, whatever. Uh, 
that are in there. Hmm. We'll start up with bombarding this. Because I can't replenish while they're under siege. Um, it said I had a port blockaded, actually. I should probably check that out. Huh. That's probably going to be a little annoying. Hmm. I have lots of money now. That's a good thing. Trading port. Do I want to upgrade this to a trading port while it's blockaded? No, we're going to get this secularist thing so we can get more silk, more wealth, and some growth per turn here. Uh, Awa does not need more growth. Barracks, Cotton Weaving Shed, Financial District. Do I go up to commercial farming? How much happiness does this place have? Ah, uh, not very much. So if we get this, does it increase the happiness? This will increase the happiness by two. But we don't really need a stronger fortress here. Thinking we'll just get a building. Uh, we have a garrison here, probably like one... Yeah, one unit of recruits with a uh, Ishin Shishin. Well, we're happy. Well, that's because characters are five. Okay. Recent events. Next, we had an earthquake. That's no fun. Uh, the garrison here should be fine, right? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten units to fight this with towers. Yeah, it's fine. Question is, can you leave without garrison? Is twelve? Yep, you guys can leave. Can't run down the cannons. Now, realistically, it would have done some damage to me, but I'm okay with. Not losing any men and taking out their cannons. <laughs> Seems fine to me. Oh, hey! Okay. Ustiam. Ustiunomia. Tsunamistu. Infantry bayonet. That does not look like an infantry bayonet, but okay. Hmm. I like this though. It's good for the kind of style we've got going. Yeah, I'll get that because he has a revolver now. His unit's got pistols. It might not be uh, the super epic revolver cav, but I swear I'm going to make an. And when the Shogun, or False Samurai Let's Plays, I'm going to make an army of just revolver cavalry. <laughs> Can you imagine that? It's going to be insane. Insanely expensive. Let's just look at how much this one costs. This one costs me 110 in upkeep. The Red Bears, on the other hand, cost 130. Line infantry, 100. Toast rifles, 100. Okay, 170 is quite a bit for the rifles. Still, that's 110. That's a lot of units at 110 cost. Some wooden cannons. I'll bombard them next turn and then I'll attack their fortifications. Oh, uh, maybe. Now, I'm just going to check. I'm not actually going to do it, but I wonder if they would take peace. We might be able to come to agreement. Well, let's see if they come to an agreement once we occupy uh, probably their capital. No, it's not their capital, because, um, that's the capital of the Choshu. Oh, they're attacking us. I understand why they, uh, have no rest, and they realize that we're not going to attack them, so they have to attack us. Our reduced numbers this will hurt somewhat. They have no cavalry. Mm, I can just deploy a range of their mortars. I'll be fine. I have cannons. My melee units are written off. My rifles I can use. And then my saber cab I guess I can use. Artillery bombardment is going to be the big thing. 
in the battle just oh ho why couldn't I be them? <laughs> I could just set up on that hill and that'd be fine, but whatever. I can set up on that my artillery on a tiny little hill. I'd like to just be here and just artillery. And it's depending on what it all looks like. Deploy other units. But here I guess I could just deploy my guns up there or something, you know. I don't know. We'll see. Hmm. Picture is quite interesting. I I really like the from these from Shogun too. Far more than Rome two or Attila, or even any other Total War game. Shogun two is probably my favorite. So when I said small hill. Oh, I could use these hills so much. Good thing he doesn't have cannons. He has to just do it the old-fashioned way. Some nice howitzers. So the howitzers are useful, so I can deploy them behind the hill, and I don't have to worry about that. I can deploy my cannons here. My six-pounder light cannons. This little ramp leading up to it. No, I think I'll deploy him farther up here. Bang. Okay. Now to decide how to defend my flipping position. Thinking Tosa rifles. Right here. They'll probably skirmish line them a little better. Yeah, that looks good. Huh. I'll leave my red bears in charge of this portion of the line. I'll redeploy them a little bit afterwards. Um. Also grant this unit to be deployed in this section here. Except I'm thinking of it being deployed a little bit further back. I'm going to deploy three other units along this area here. Looking for some good old fashioned uh, shootings. So they're not down the dip and they can get some decent firing angles. And then of course that leaves... You. And you. Nah. Two further units I can put as a reserve somewhere. Probably behind these Tosa riflemen. I think those will be where my Ronin get deployed. Deploy them in like. There we go. Nice little block of uh, 210 Ronin. Revolvers. They're going to be a huge part of this because I could pick apart a unit or two with them. With my general's bodyguard. Okay. There we go. General's bodyguard can go there. My howitzers will deploy here and here. 
you guys can deploy over there. You guys take the top of this little hill here. Why not? Yeah, let's go redeploy. Um, these units will fall back behind the line position there. What, I said I'd fall them back a little bit. I guess they don't really need it. A little bit of redeployment. I guess that's fine. Okay, we also have naval bombardment in this. And that's the other thing we have to keep in mind. Just so long as we're out of range of their mortars, we're fine. Yeah, we're out of range of their mortars. I'm not coming forward, they have to attack me. Your general's bodyguard, 90 horsemen. It's the only horse units they have. They have one melee unit. So they're going to be going for the modern... They're just going to try and shoot me to pieces. Really. I need my howitzers to get in position so they're ready to shoot once the enemy reaches it within range. I'm now opening barrages up with my cannons. Got a couple of them. Four guys, not bad. I think we'll probably plant them in their general's bodyguard. The accuracy is pretty poor. Oh, they're running now. Howitzers. My howitzers are safely deployed behind my, behind my line. So. Huh. My light guns aren't exactly doing a lot of damage, but whatever. Now, my howitzers are now going to open up. So now all my guns are opening up. We're not doing very much damage. I could dismount my uh, guys. That'd be kind of interesting. Come on, get in range, get in range, get in range. Oh, they're broken. I'm not going to try and run them down right now. That is not the main goal right now. Fire! These are just levy garrison infantry, but whatever. This is what happens when you try and fight pistols. Just doesn't work. Our naval bombardment came down, it didn't do too much damage. Run down some of their treaters. We'll bring our Tosa rifles up. Redeploying them. I'm surprised their mortars aren't arching down on my, uh. I just want to make sure that these guys stay out of the fight. They're just broken, they're not shattered. Really the problem. Okay. <laughs> they got closer. And then they realize that uh, 
they weren't coming together in enough uniformity. I knew what they were going to come back. They didn't kill nearly enough of my revolver cav, and now I'm going to cut down these levy garrison infantry. And then turn back around and take out these guys. Oh, my guys are wavering for some reason. These guys should be done in a second. Yeah. Sacrificial Saber Cav unit take on this entire squadron of levy. Well, actually, I wouldn't be surprised if they didn't break. Huh? Oh, my revolver cav broke. Oh, that's bad. It looks like they're looking to charge my men. <laughs> Target the general! All rifles! Fire! Fire for effect! Didn't seem to do. Oh, there we go. Picked off a couple of them. Let's go. Now I guess my rifle fire that I'm putting on them, between that and my cannon barrages. Oh, my uh, revolver cavalry cannon. After taking a bunch of losses. These guys have one job. Okay, we need to get into melee quickly. Looks like my saber cav is uh, taking it pretty tough. Yep. Your victory is close, sir. Then go and get those mortars that are just firing shots. And finally, the Toso cannons fall silent. Don't fire, will please? I'll probably kill all my own men. Eh, eh. Oh, what? You mean you're running? That's unacceptable. Fire! We saw him off pretty well. Uh, we lost 297, they lost, uh, they're, well, they lost the entire garrison, I guess. We could make Choshu our vassal. If they would accept peace now, I'd probably take it. So, yes, Satsuma will probably be able to retake their lands. I could then focus military f efforts against that nation, the purple guys, I can never remember their name. After this, uh, end turn sequence finishes, I'll end this episode. Our shinobi detected. Uh, we're prominent. Uh, siege trader routed, whatever. Province captured. Excellent. One of our guys can be something else. Cool, we got. Con down growth across all provinces, plant tax rate provinces, worried in management. Nice. So let's see if the Ikawanu clan. Ikawanu key clan? It is like no. Okay. So this would. Gus for Gun Time Blues province. Nice. All provinces. This generates hmm, less growth. Okay. Makes sense, makes sense. This one ship's going to run away from my fleet. That would be to be figured. Or they're going to fight. It's a super heavily damaged Kasuga class. Seven this for the next episode. We're going to kill a Kasuga class with explosive shot. <laughs> I'll see. Oh, Kasuga class.
It's only gonna Kai tomorrow. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, I'm Alexander Gamer. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys have a good day. I'll see you next time.